And this is show number eight, and we're going to work on your quads, stomach, midriff. So start up onto your knees, having your knees together and your feet together. You bring your arms overhead, interlace your fingers, and begin to stretch to your side. Stretch sideways. It's very important that you keep your head lined up to your hips. In other words, don't throw your head forward. Have your head lined up with your hips, stretch and get a long, deep stretch right in the side of your body, easing over, and then begin to lower your hips to the opposite side of your heels, onto the floor on the opposite side of your heels. Once you're down and you're holding here, put your mind completely on this side of your body and make it longer. Make it longer. Keep your head back. Lengthen, lengthen, stretch more and more deeply. Again, no, no bouncing. All right, now set your quads and come up, all the way up, and all the way to the other side. Stretch your arms first. Feel it through the ribs, through the waist. Tighten up your stomach. All right, keep your head lined up to your hips. Slowly come down. Use those quads. Use your upper thighs. Ease down, try to sit on the floor to the other side of your heels. Now again, you're going to lengthen. Lengthen your arms, lengthen through the rib cage, lengthen through the waist, and pull up. Pull up, all the way up, arms to the opposite side, keep your head back, tighten up your stomach, slowly come down, ease down, ease down, sit, try not to crash, breathe softly, stretch. If you crash, it's okay. Every time you do it, you'll get a little bit better, a little bit stronger with it. Stretching to the other side, draw your stomach in, stretch now, lengthen, open up through the ribs, slowly come down. Don't throw your head forward, keep your head back. Ease down slowly, ease down, Try and sit on the floor, stretch, breathe softly. Lengthen your arms, lengthen through the ribs, lengthen. Imagine if it's hard for you to get up, and it is for a lot of my students, imagine there's a hook that's coming down and you hook your hand, your hands over it and pull up on it, pull up, and then stretch all the way to the other side Lengthen through the waist, through the ribs. Slowly come down. This is why, this is where the workout comes, is the slow movement. Sitting and stretching way over. Hook up onto that thing. Pull yourself up. Stretch over. Stretch, lengthen. Draw your stomach in. Ease down. Ease down, use the strength in your quads to keep you from crashing down. Stretch, lift up, way, way up, one more time either side. Stretch, stretch, lengthen, lengthen, stomach tight, head back. Ease down, ease down, try to come down easily. Stretch and breathe softly and coming up, stretch up, over, Ease down, all the way down, lengthen, intensify the stretch, and come back out of it. Easing now into a sitting position, we're going to try the half lotus. You have your legs out in front of you, bring your right foot over the top of your left thigh. If it doesn't want to come up there, that's fine. Wherever, wherever it wants to go, that's fine. That's where we begin and we do nothing but keep getting better by being patient. Easing the knee down, try to press your knee down, then bring your other foot and put it underneath you. You just tucked it underneath. The objective is to get your knees as close to the floor as you can, stretching through the top of your knees and your quads. 
Try to press the knee down, find out where you are with that, and then change. And bring the left foot up, way up, press the knee down, bring the other foot, tuck it underneath, and try to get your knees down. All right, so that's half lotus. We'll do full lotus later. But now that we have the half lotus, now we're going to put it all together. So go back to bringing the right foot up over your thigh, left foot underneath, and we're going to do what we call is the yoga mudra in half lotus. We're going to bend at the hip joints, and you're going to fold your body forward. Bring your arms back behind you and interlace your fingers. Lengthen your spine. Inhale slowly, push the stomach out as you inhale through the nose. Tummy, 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 midsection, midsection, upper chest. Fill your lungs completely, then fold forward. Lead with your chin, you are bending at the hip joints. Now don't bend at your waist. Fold forward, fold forward. Stretch your stomach over your legs. See if you can put your forehead on the floor and then bring your arms up. Open up your chest, open up your shoulders. Inhale, pick up your head, line your neck up to your spine, coming up out of the hip joints, and exhale. Good. Now we'll try it on the other side. Ease out, rub your ankle in case it got a little bit tight, calf, and bring the left foot up first, and then bring the right foot underneath you. Try to press those knees down. Lengthen up. Sit tall. Arms back. Interlace your fingers. Inhale. All the way up to the top of your lungs and exhale. Fold forward. Bend at the hip joints. Bend at the hip joints. Stretch your glutes. Stretch through the lumbar back. Head down, bring your arms up. Open up through the chest. Open up through your shoulders. Open up. Pick up your head. Come up out of your hip joints. Out of your hip joints. And exhale. Now, if you're new to doing this, that's not that easy, and I know that. So let's go back to the right foot up first the left foot underneath. Let me please encourage you, if you're particularly stiff, if you've been really out of shape and you've not, not gotten it together, let's start now. And all the thing is, you need to work only as far as you are comfortable. Every one workout you do is rejuvenating your body. So it's a cinch by the inch. Don't, don't expect to be perfect. And don't expect to go all the way. Okay? So come on, let's go, let's go. Sitting up very, very tall, chin up. Tummy, 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 midsection, midsection, upper chest, upper chest, all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, lead with your chin. Empty the air, stretch your stomach over your legs. Forehead down, arms up. Pick up your head, line your neck up to your spine. Bring your torso up. Ease yourself up. Coming up out of your hip joints. And exhale. Easing out of your position. Rub your ankle. Your calf and your knee. Loosen it up. Other side. Rub your ankle. Your calf and your knee. This is really important when we do this part of it. Need to work on working out those shoulders and opening up your chest. Now come back again to crossing your ankles and having that tray. And we're going to learn to shift your weight forward onto your feet and come up into a standing position. And we're going to do a basic triangle pose. First, you separate your feet a good wide distance apart. You place your arms alongside of your body and then inhale through the nose. Bring your arms up shoulder level. Inhale. 
Now exhale and go directly sideways. Exhale through the nose. Go directly sideways, sideways, sideways. Ease your hand down onto your leg. Turn your head, look up at your palm. Reach for the ceiling and stretch for the floor. Try to have your arms and shoulders in a straight line. Then inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down. Good. Flex your knees a little bit. Never, never lock your knees. Arms alongside, again, deeply. Inhale, arms up. The basic triangle. Exhale, go to the other side. Other side. Breathe softly now. Breathe softly. Stretch. Feel the stretch through the midriff section. Turn your palm up. Look up at your palm. Reach for the ceiling and stretch for the floor. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, arms down. This is going to lengthen your torso, which is extremely important. Again, palms flat on your thighs. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist to your side. Empty the air, empty the air, empty. All right, put your hand on your leg. Turn your palm up, reach, reach up to the ceiling. Look at your palm and stretch your other hand down toward your ankle. Do not lean forward. You must be exactly to your right. And up, inhaling. And exhale, down. The objective is not to get your hand to your ankle. It is to go absolutely sideways. That is where you get a thorough, thorough stretch. Again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, go sideways, sideways. Keep your arms lined up to your shoulders. Put your hand down your leg. All right, turn, look up at your palm. Reach for the ceiling. Stretch through that shoulder joint. Stretch down the side of your leg. Inhale, coming up. And exhale. Arms down. That should begin to make you feel like you're getting taller, definitely longer. So now, once again, cross your ankles, tighten up your stomach, arms out, try not to crash, try not to crash. Ease down and sit. Good. And then coming back into the clam to stretch out through that low back. Any side bends and uh, will put a little stress on your lower back or even standing up very straight for any length of time and stretching. So just be aware of that and always remember to counter posture. Bye. To purchase a copy of Priscilla's Yoga Stretches for Intermediates, program number 012-103, please call 1-800-553-7700.